Man, it was so close, so close. I guess if it was a little muddier, I'd lean speed go five. Now, this one blew my mind. Let's pull it out of here. Speed Goat 5, oh my my. Where is it? Where? There it is. Fresh Foam More Trail. Fresh, mo Fresh Foam X More Trail V2. I didn't even say New Balance at the beginning. Wow, New Balance. That is a, a mouthful. There you go. This battle just, oh my goodness. This was sent in via email. I do believe it was email. Thank you for sending this idea in and barn burner and it's a classic example of i i would say the scoring system uh, getting better not perfect but getting better and dialing in dialing in and creating these categories where you can ask yourself this is just a classic example of what is most important to you so if you're new to buying running shoes oh ask yourself is the ride the most important is the upper lockdown the most important? Is the price point the most important? Is the durability the most important? All these different categories that we have here in this review process, and it played out really, really nicely in the scoring. Like, you're gonna be shocked by some of these battles that are about to go down. Actually, let me just make sure, okay. There you go, well, drop on your screen, wait on your screen all day long, speed go five for that W in the weight category all right there's the upper materials being used in both soak those in and the scores for the lockdown it's amazing fresh foam it's it's just so it's this butterfly i like to call it the butterfly effect i don't know if that's what it's actually called but i call it the butter basically how it goes so wide there um it's a it's heavier it's a heavier shoe but man that tongue is so comfortable over the top of the foot. If you are, I'll just, well, should, I, should I save it? All right, I'll save how I'll use this shoe here in a minute. We're looking at that Fresh Foam X over here and then that compression molded EVA over here. Um, so this guy is a unique, uniquely formulated compound injection EVA. Uh, it's molded in heat press, all right, to give it that unique shape there. High stack height for both of these shoes. Right on energy return, speed go five, but this guy wasn't far behind, I gotta tell ya. And you know how much I love that Speed Go 5 ride. There's the outsole, all right, scores on your screen. I like the grip and the bite of that. In fact, gosh, both Vibram, it's interesting how Vibram really owns that outsole market for trail running shoes. Man, it was so close, so close. I guess if it was a little muddier, I'd lean Speed Go 5, and you might be able to pull off slightly I guess you'd lean a little more here for slightly more buffed out trails, but very similar outsoles. Soak that in if you could. And moving on to the durability, ties across the screen. Now, where I'm a little confused, all right, actually, yeah, well, let's just do the price now, okay? I don't know why it's so expensive over here. Maybe it's because of, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know, the amount of midsole being, you know, put stuffed in, and this was, remember the trends? I talked about eight trends in running shoes in 2022. One of the trends, this was last week, I believe, or two weeks ago, and one of the trends is that the midsoles are getting chunkier, bigger, more volume, more girth, under step, and I'm not saying it's always the best solution. I'm not saying that, okay? But sure enough, companies are doing it. Now, how will I use these shoes? I'd lean, okay, lean long run and more buffed out trails, and I'd lean slightly more aggressive trails, long run as well, but I would not hesitate to race in the shoe either if I only wanted to buy one, that's the beauty of the Speed Goat lineup. If you only wanna buy one shoe for a, for, to train for a half marathon to a 50K and even a 50 miler, okay? I would, you could absolutely race a 50 miler in the Speed Go 5, but you only wanna buy one shoe for that crossover. So as you know, tweener alert, of course, for the Speed Go 5. Great shoe, love the shoe, and there's the scores on your screen, pretty amazing. All right, I mean, that's one of the closest running, that's what I mean, you have to ask yourself, and hopefully you saw all the scores show up on titles on the screen, 
is that you have to just have to ask yourself, do I want more? Do I want to lean in the direction of buying a shoe that has better energy return, better price point, uh, better up to, uh, uh, lockdown score, better comfort on the overall shoe, depending on which shoe, okay? So you just have to ask yourself and ask yourself, because not, and then the scores that get really, like definitely into the eights, that's when the company is really nailing most, most if not all of the scores in the uh, scoring system that we have when it goes above an eight, especially above like 8.1, but we'll just stick it with eights four. Now, there you have it. Oh, what a barn burner. Three for the Speedgo 5, five for the More Trail V2, and two ties. But again, look at those final scores, unbelievable. Doug says, two months ago, I think this is being pulled. I, I forget from which one, maybe the Trail Matrix. Wow, I must say, I love this shoe. I also own the Speedgo 5, and I think these New Balance shoes are way better. Very interesting, Doug. Very comfortable, no hot spots, and great traction. My fave shoe of the past 12 months by a mile. That's interesting. And you know how much, again, I love the Speedgo 5, I really, really do, but this is this probably could be a sleeper shoe. It's only because UTMB does not have any, doesn't have any New Balance, I mean, was there a, were there any New Balance sponsored trail athletes on the starting line at UTMB? I'm sure there were. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know about you. If you if you are watching, let me know. But it's like Hoka Solomon. Uh, Hoka Solomon. It's like if you own these big races where you have sponsored athletes, it's hard to get your name out there. Anyway, maybe that's where DGR can come in a little bit to, to pick up the pieces, everybody. Question of the day is, um, what is one trail running shoe feature you would like to see updated moving forward? Is it the, is it the, the durometer? Is it the traction? Is it the durability? Is it the, the vamp? Is it the toe box breathability? Is it, the shoelaces, it could be whatever it is at the price point. It could be anything you want. What is a feature on trail shoes, I'm talking generally, that you would really love to see companies improve moving forward, okay? That's the question of the day. Onward we go. Running shoe battles continue, but let's go to the trail running shoe playlist. Trail running, hopefully I can add to that playlist very, very soon. Trail running shoe playlist right here, right here. I just heard the Asics Fuji Light 3 just came out. Can you wait for that shoe? I cannot. I can't, I don't know where it's at right now, but anyway, onward we go. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.